Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, astute viewers may be wondering why am I back in the undead settlement? And the answer is because of this guy. With our friendly sorcerer bro dead, I need someone else to teach you magic. And pyromancy, I think, is the name of the game. Aha, unkindled are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Hmm, yes I would. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> oh, it's all mine, I assure you. And he just disappeared. Alright, that's cool. So, yes, the trick is... In order for me to actually progress at spellcasting, I need spells. The oldie magic weapon and uh, soul arrow aren't really going to cut it. So... Yeah, I figured out, well, which is to say I looked up where the uh, pyromancy trainer was because I knew I totally missed him. And this was kind of a tricky place to find him anyhow. Now, if I am lucky, and I like to imagine that I am, he will also be able to sell me a pyromancy hand. Or whatever the catalyst might be nowadays. Yes, I do miss my social bro, but you gotta roll the punches. You gotta move at the times. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And besides, if we build for pyromancy and then get another sorcerer bro later, or get some decent sorceries, we can always equip the um the Islif stuff, which will let us cast it cast sorceries like pyromancies. And that should be better. Alright, now we just gotta figure out where to scap put himself. If he put himself on the corpse of my buddy, I'm going to be upset. At the very least, this does rule him out as the possible killer. No, <laughs> Sorcerer Bro. Yeah, I did have more thoughts about Sorcerer Bro. In that... Someone killed him, right? But... I think it was wrong for me to assume that he was just coincidentally the first target in what would be a slaughter of everyone here. Perhaps something about him caused him to be targeted specifically. Now we've had a couple of guys walking in and out of here. Where the hell's the pyromancy instructor? Now we've had a couple of guys walking in and out of here and um... It's entirely possible one of them could have been responsible. Anyone who does not fancy the moon... Oh, hello. Mm, not important. Anyone who does not fancy the abyss... Uh, would certainly have had beef with him, right? Because... He... Oh, hello. Mm. Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the lords absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Huh. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> this guy's kind of a jerk, isn't he? Pillage Who are you? Embers for briefly heightened strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes? Is that all you've got? Pillage embers. Wow, he just wants me to go up and murder people. I don't want to murder people. I want to be a nice guy. A nice little unkindled. Okay, what is up with this guy? Why is he not here? What have I done wrong? Or failing that, where is he hiding? Uh, is he back here? Is he back here? But yeah, in the course of 
looking for the pyromancy instructor. I did pick up a couple of old items as I was poking through the, uh... Ugh. Poking through various zones looking for him before I finally had to look it up. Um, one of them is most interesting. Hood used to cover the head of lesser folk who were set out to work as slaves throughout, throughout Lothric. Also occasionally used to shame and humiliate criminals. Which tells us a little something about our thief friend, right? I assumed that he was a thrall, but this makes me think this is certainly not the case. Especially since he doesn't seem quite as, scr as scrawny as the other thralls. Instead, no, he's been given this uh, thrallhood as punishment for his crimes. Which tells us a little bit about him, doesn't it? Also, the fact that he was uh, looking for Loretta, whose body was in the uh, undead settlement, makes me think that he was originally from there. Most curious. Come on. But yeah, it's nice that we have a new bro over there, even if he does just want me to kill players. Is he up here? And there he is. I was looking at him from up here, and he kind of like blends into the background. So I missed him the first time. Oh, Alright. There you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Hell yeah. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. Giggle. <laughs> There's the giggle. All right. Oh, and he can reinforce it. Reinforce it like a weapon. Reinforce it like a weapon. Why, hello, hello, hello. Huh, what else has he got? Pyramids a crown. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Liver crown, liver crown and animal bones. And a great stomper was thought that adorning oneself with natural fauna would provide protection from the flames of pyromancy. Hmm. Bronze was used ritualistically to ward off evil spirits and keep darkness at bay. That's not interesting. The life of a pyromancer is a life of endless trudging through marshland. Interesting. He has no other items. Okay, cool. What pyromancers do you know, sir? Fireball, fire surge, a constant stream of fire. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, a powerful giant flame in hand. Yowza. And a flash sweat. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to throw some terms at him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He likes that. He likes that a lot. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Hold on. One thing I do want to check first ah, is... Can I reinforce my casting stick? Is that a thing that can happen? I don't think so. Okay, so you can't reinforce your thingy. Oh, I also put the raw broadsword up to plus six, because why not? I'm not going to put in points of strength, so I need a sword that can hit things. Oh, I think I skipped some new dialogue there. Oh well, let's give him this one. What? What? No, what happened? Controller, come back. Controller! Controller! Controller? What happened? Alright, back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Alright. Not what is <laughs> yep, what is the teacher of the people? Such a dedicated people. Alright, alright, alright. 
Uh, let's give him this one. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. Oh, I should have really read the description first. Have a giggle. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, I'll just read the other descriptions before I give them back to him. Uh, here we go. Oh, we already read this one. Huh. Chaos Pyromancy of Izalith. Chaos Pyromancy is manipulate lava in both later forms of Pyromancy. Easy. Kalana. Okay, a Pyromancy Tome of Kalana containing her unique spells. These Pyromancies can only be taught by a female master. Really? Give it to a female Pyromancy Master. Pyromancy Master to learn Quilana's Pyromancies. Quilana, the sole surviving witch of Izalith, once accepted a human pupil. But after the pupil moved on, she never took another. Who might that have been? Okay, so... what have we here? I guess he can't... By the gods, this inscription reads, Quilana, the ancient deity, one of the witches of Izalith. The last of them who wandered the lands. Then she must have returned to Isolith after all. But I regret to say, I cannot accept this. Quelana's pyromancies are for witches and must be learned from a mistress. But thank you for allowing me to peer upon such a thing. Interesting. If only I were a woman. Huh. Huh. All right, how about Isleth? Ah, what have we here? A pyromancy tome from Isolith. Isolith, okay. Found the home of pyromancy. Brilliant. I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. Salaman? Hmm. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. great chaos fire orb. Ho, ho, ho. Carthus beacon. Okay, hold on. Let's let's read these items here. All right. Art of the flame of chaos from ancient Isolith. Hurls a great chaos fire orb. Chaotic flame melts even great boulders and creates brief surge of molten lava on impact. The witch of Isolith and her daughters birthed the flame of chaos, but it devoured them along with their home. Interesting. Primitive Cornix. That's the body right here. He made this up himself? Nice. Cornix is a venerable pyromancer of an older mold, said to have restored a number of spells lost to the past, among which this is the most well known. Chaos Storm. Blah blah blah. Chaotic Flame, blah blah blah. blah. The all engulfing Chaos Flame eventually formed a tumultuous seedbed which birthed the twisted things known as demons. We've read that before. Hmm. Great combustion. Pyromancy which improves upon combustion. Creates a powerful giant flame in hand. Very powerful, yet simple spell to use. Pyromancy is at once known... Oh, is to at once know fear and longing, the resultant power of which depends on both the caster's intelligence and faith. Acid Surge! Pyromancy of Cuffs of the Sands. Emits an acid which corrodes weapons and armor. That's not going to be much use except against players. Kafka's swordsmen attach great value to victory and would not shun the use of such pyromancies. For where is the honor in death and scoured bones? Okay, flash sweat. Unique pyromancy of the great swamp associated with Carmina. Intense sweating increases fire damage absorption. An influential pyromancy that in internalizes flame. Ah, dear flame. Likely forming the foundation of many subsequent f spells. Carthus Beacon. The most obscure pyromancy developed by in Carthus of the Sands. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Huh. Carthus' aggression has been linked... So, it has been likened to an uncontrollable fire, and since ancient times its beacon has been used as a signal for war. Carthus Flame Arc. Ooh, that looks nice. Pyromancy of Carthus of the Sands reinforces right weapon with flame. I want that. Warriors of Kafas favored supplemental pyromancies such as this. 
which was used to enhance the curved blades of its swordsman. Oh man, it's 10,000 souls! I want it, but it's 10,000 souls! Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, like, crank up my flame, y'all. Um, yeah. Sure, sure, let's crank it. Let's learn some pyromancies. What do we got? What do we got? Let's learn... Yeah, that was a fireball. Whatever. Let's learn this. This great combustion. Yeah. Sure. That uses 20 foot. This is 11 foot. Okay, cool. Let's try this. Uh, there's no attribute requirement for these other ones, is there? Oh, there is. But this one's okay. This one's okay. Okay, cool. That's about great combustion. Do not be gone for long. What is it? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just equip that bad boy. Uh huh. There's my flame, dear flame. Oh, hold on. I just want to see what it says. Flame catalyst used by pyromancers. Equip pyromancy flame to utilize pyromancy. Pyromancy must be tuned to fire at bonfire before use. Obviously. Creates a powerful flame in a wielder's hand, one of the most basic pyromancies, and for this very reason, the flame created is fierce. Works well equipped in either hand. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Alright, so let's just keep that on hand. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as cool as the stick, but, you know, I'll take it. Hands on fire. I am unkindled, it makes sense that I should be on fire. Do I have a spare one of these? I do, I do have a spare one of these, that's nice. Do I have a second one of these? Okay, I don't. Okay, a tune spell. Oh wow, we can even just crank it in there. Nice. We had enough to do it properly. Okay, I want to work out how does this cast. Um, and I'm going to do it by teleporting. And then killing something. Uh-huh. Old Demon King. Yeah, right? No. Demon Ruins. No? Um, this one? Old King's Antechamber? I think it's... I can't remember which one's which. I'm just going to Demon Ruins. I think this is the one closest to where I wanted to go. Yeah, 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 that sounds right. Okay, now let's try out some pyromancy. Ha 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 I would also love to get that flame weapon spell. Love to get it, love to get it. Okay. There's a bro, his primates are probably stronger than mine. 96 damage, that's not a lot. Not a lot at all. Okay, that's okay. You. You. Stop it. Don't kick. There we go. Give me that shard. Alright, now I'm just gonna... Swap out a couple of these rings for lovely pyromancy rings. La di da di da. La di da di da. I also found this fire clutch ring. Uh, ring depicted. So, <laughs> ring depicting a hand grasping redstone increases fire attack but compromises damage absorption. Uh, an old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the crestfallen, who might otherwise be overcome by despair. Let's just put that on. Okay, and then let's see how much damage that does, as opposed to usual things. Okay, so Great Combustion appears to be like point blank. Which is, you know, it's alright, it's got its place. Yeah, that does a bit of damage. Like, I don't really like it as a spell, but, um, it's alright. It's okay. Usually if I'm that close, I just want to be, uh, stabbing him anyway. Oh, come on. Why you gotta be that guy? In fact, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Clutch Ring and put back the, um... The Estus Ring, because I like being alive. Okay. 
Oi, oh, come on, rat. <laughs> Down hit. Uh, rat king over there, but don't want to worry about him. Down here. Okay, there, these are... Oh, hello. Yep, yep. There's a lot of this going on here. Huh, funny. They're not even getting me with their petrifying nonsense. There we go. Now I'm being petrified. Uh-oh. Yep, you gotta be... You really gotta just walk through those guys, you know? You just gotta... Not give them time of day. Because otherwise they just petrify you. Okay. So, I'm just gonna check real quick what the damage is like with those rings equipped against this guy. So it was like 92 the first time I did it. What is it this time? 137, that's quite a jump. I'll accept it. I'll allow it. However, again... That spell, not the most useful, unless I get, like, really legit fire boost action happening. Hey, it's another Titan shot, who knew? Alright. Some other pyromancies might be nice. Especially, like, the flame weapon one. But given that it's fashion souls... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Like, sorcery is more fashionable to me. It's it's it just looks better. You know, you know what I'm saying. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll have to see how the fire enchant works on my sword. I'm just gonna walk past these guys. I don't have any patience for their petrifying bollocks. We're just going to pass right through and go straight after the Black Knight. <laughs> okay, there he is. We're going to try to burn him and we're going to see what that does. Or how effective it is, rather. Alright, come on, love. 184 as opposed to a two-handed swing, which is 120. And also I'm dead, but more importantly, we are seeing that sometimes pyromancy is useful. Good to know, good to learn. Good to keep in the back of my mind. But yeah, I should actually be paying attention when I find that guy. <laughs> he is actually dangerous. Hmm. There we go. Ignore that guy. Start rolling. And get fruit. Ignore the rats. Find the actual opening. Pass right past. Do a little bit of this. Get a little bit of that. Don't get petrified. And we're home free. Easy. Alright. Alright, Black Knight. This time, I got your number. Come on. Off the bridge, off the bridge, come on, fight like a man. Hold on, is this guy... Nah, I, c I can't tell if he's got red eyes. The cast time on that's pretty good. Like, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Ow. Whoa, okay. 
Okay. I can respect that. To some extent. Yeesh. Huh. Okay, so that guy two shots me. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Respect his strength. Fear his sword. Dodge it. Alright then. Now, so if these are the ruins of old Islith, which makes sense because, unless I'm mistaking, that was uh, Quelag's sister. Which means she's dead. Um, if that was Quelag's sister, and these are the ruins of old, old Islith, as per the first game, What does that mean? I don't even know. But the uh, Pyromancy Master did say that we had found Old Dizalif. He did say that. And it's not a thing that makes sense in my head. Oh no. Uh, get him out of here. Man! Man! At least I got my souls back. But why are they chasing me so far? So I'll try to come at that with a bit more coherency? Okay, so if this is Old Isolith, where was it in the old game? It was down, below, below, far, far below. It was below the Firelink Shrine. And that is most certainly not where we are now. We are, well, we actually don't know where this is in relation to the Firelink Shrine. We could see Lothric from the Firelink Shrine. But as I recall, Islith was originally directly below. And now we're like a teleport away and down the side and down by the wall and Oh man, I'm trying to remember how I even got here. Could this be just below Lofric? And if so... Well, no, no, no. Like, Islith was nowhere near Anolondo in the first game. Nowhere near at all. Are these guys coming after me? You see, that time they didn't care. I don't get it. Alright, Knight, you and me. Let's go. Yep, easy. You can't hit me. Alright, alright. Is he gonna swing back? No, okay. I like that he seems to be doing like one shot at a time. It makes it really easy to murder him. Oh, he's got a decent shield. You're not going to pull it up? Okay, I'm going to kill you. So one thing I'm noticing about this spell is that it... <laughs> eats quite a bit of foot. Quite a bit indeed. What do we got? What's this? Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. That's new. I imagine the description is going to be much the same as the others. Yeah, Soul of a Corpse of Crestfallen Knight. That's literally all. Okay. That is a tall ladder. Is this something? No, okay. Up we go. Now my question is, if I get the fire blade magic enhancement, does leveling up my chaos flame improve the power of that bonus? I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it should, but ultimately, I just want to get a better, like more more sorceries, because that's what I wanted to do with this character. Unfortunately, it took my sorcery trainer away from me, a bunch of schmucks. Um, what am I hearing? That? What am I hearing? Oh, I know where I am. I know where I am. 
the like diggly worm was over there, and here's the arbalist man. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Okay, okay, okay. You can be that way. You can be that way. You can you can live your life. A couple of homo bones. Standing stones with candles atop. That's significant. Like someone obviously left those there, right? Who set these up? Oh, oh. Steady, steady, steady. Steady, steady. Come on. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay. I do appreciate the wheel guys are nowhere near as bad as they were in the first game. Oh boy, oh boy, were they a butt in the first game. Okay. Moving on. We should be able to actually finally meet our glorious... Oh, hello. What are you looking at? No, seriously, what are you looking at? Are they guarding the hole? Is that what's happening over here? Hey, what up? Perfect. Alright. Hmm. We've seen these guys before, right? Yeah, that's a bit of a wreck. Okay, so we can't actually um, use that anymore. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Wow! That's not good! Ugh! That's the opposite of good. That's bad. That's annoying. That's the end of the episode. Hey, just before I wrap up, I was poking around a great swamp and look who I found. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. <gasps> How intriguing. Very well. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, Sorceries. I am a sorcerer. Yes. With plenty to share. Yes. However. Yes. What champion demands service without recompense? What? Clearly you're not that sort of man. What? So you will make me a promise. Okay. That in exchange for my teaching. Yeah. You will bring me knowledge. Okay. In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery secrets. Agreed. Easy. Well, can you assure me of this? Yes. Very yes. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. Yes. Now teach me sorceries. I am Orbeck of Vinheim. Teach me sorceries, you sexy man. Handled one. I shall teach you sorceries. Yes. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Yes. 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 Hey, I was poking around some more, and would you believe that there's a boss here that I missed? Would you believe it? You just might. Let's get our souls. Let's stab this guy up. Crystal Sage. Like, I, I had no idea this guy was here. I was just poking around, trying to get some souls, trying to buy that, uh... Flame goodness. Like, flame sword spell. But then there was a boss all of a sudden. He just popped out of the ground and gave me a hard time. So, now I'm going to murder him. I'm going to use his souls to buy sorceries. Uh oh, there he is. Uh, don't you cast it? Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Be that guy. Steady, steady. Don't be. I mean, just because he's a crystal sage doesn't mean he just like crystal everywhere, right? One more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this guy isn't particularly tough, or maybe my approach is just really good. I almost killed him on my first try, but 
but um Oh here we go, this is the real one. One more. Oh my. One more, there we go. See, that wasn't so hard. How many souls does it give me? An air of fire, really. Soul of a crystal sage. Delicious. Ember restored. Ha ha. No souls? Ah, oh, here we go. 8,000 souls. That's more like it. Huh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Pyromancy Flame. We're not going to need you anymore. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to get some real spells with magic. What's this? Be wary of pointless. Alright, I will be. You know what? While I'm here... Hold on. Let's poke over here. Yeah, let's just explore this corner. Let's just, let's just check it out. You know. The rest of the episode was a little bit uneventful. Try left. Oh! <gasps> Good job! Oh, no! No! Controller! Why? Why has Val forsaken me? Controller! Controller! There we go. Alright. Let's get back up here. Oh! Oh, it's Christmas! Oh, more Twinkle! Twinkle, twinkle, little tight night. Um... An evangelist? And a dude of a cage? What's even going on here? What are they even doing up here? Why is this a thing? This is like way out of their ballpark. Alright, alright. Let's deal with her. Okay, so she's got multiple bros around her. Ow. Ow. Come on. Why you gotta give me a hard time? Herald armor. Cool. Huh, it's a bonfire. Well, kind of. No! No, what? No! No, 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 controller, 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 no, controller, no. Wow, I gotta be more careful with this cable on a controller. So, if you'll remember, we actually saw, and look, there's just a pile of bodies in his back, it's just like the, um, the caged bodies we saw. Right? In the uh, Undead Settlement, we saw a bunch of caged bodies and sometimes they'd be alive, they'd have their legs and stuff poking out. Now we're seeing that these guys are responsible for collecting those. And are they connected to the... Uh... Oh, nice. Are they connected to the Evangelists? Do they, like, do her dirty work for them? Maybe? Maybe not? Ooh, boy, howdy. I thought there was an item over there, but maybe, maybe it got lumped in. Oh, no, 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 of course, it was the Herald set. Duh. Okay. What's up here? Is this a whole new area? Is this a whole new area? That's amazing. That's, that's like, the best. That's the coolest thing. We're going to check it out later. Bye.